Let's solve this problem using the quadratic formula. We've got x squared plus 8x plus 12 equal to 0. Now in order to use the quadratic formula I have to have 0 on one side, which we do. Then we need to identify the a, b, and c. a is the number that's before x squared, which in this case is the invisible one. b is numbers before x, which is 8. And c is our number at the end, which is 12. Now our quadratic formula is x equals negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. If you mess up on signs, it's a good idea to go through and put parentheses everywhere you have a variable before you plug in your numbers. Now everything else remains exactly the same. The, only th uh, the minus stays here, the plus or minus, square root, the 4, all, everything. So we just replace the variables with parentheses. Now this problem doesn't matter so much um, because everything's positive, but other problems it will matter. Now everywhere we had a b in our formula, we'll plug in 8. So I got 8 there and 8 there. Everywhere we had an a in our formula, we'll plug in 1. And everywhere we had a c in our formula, we'll plug in 12. And then we want to simplify it. So that gives us negative 8 plus or minus 8 squared is 64 minus 4 times 1 times 12 is 48 all over 2. So then we've got negative 8 plus or minus square root of um, 16, I think. Yeah, 16 over 2. Now you should always simplify radicals whenever you can before you go on to any other step. Uh, 16 is 4 times 4. Now remember the square root, we're looking for a pair of numbers. Well, here's a pair of 4. So a pair of 4 is going to come out in front as a single 4. So we've got negative 8 plus or minus 4 all over 2. And our radical disappeared because we took that pair out and there's nothing left inside. Now at this point, it's beneficial, since the radical disappeared, to split this into two separate pieces. Our positive version and our negative version. Because what the plus or minus means is we're going to have negative 8 plus 4 over 2. And we'll have negative 8 minus 4 over 2. Well, negative 8 plus 4 is negative 4. And negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2. Over here we got negative 8, negative 4, which gives us a negative 12 over 2, which gives us negative 6. And those are our answers.